duct tape HPX 6200 this is a cloth tape very strong supposedly waterproof minus 20 to 80 degrees I didn't check that so I don't know if it's true cloth so it's easy to tear CB5025 441158 it's 48 millimeters 25 meters that's pretty nice 25 meters tough job tougher tape Let's see about that this is the HPX brand there is also Tessa T-E-S-A and this HPX Tessa and HPX I could find here and Gorilla Tape also I think Gorilla Tape is better but it was a bit more expensive so I just use uh, cloth tape HPX very strong it doesn't say how strong it just says very strong that could mean anything it could be very strong well it doesn't really mean much it could say very strong waterproof HPX 6200 okay I bought it because it's, it looks a bit more thick than the usual one usually 25 meters is about this much thickness from the other brands the thinner plastic one this is cloth tape so something between duct tape this is duct tape very strong waterproof minus 20 degrees to 80 plus 80 degrees celsius that's good easy to tear by hand yeah looks pretty nice could do a small test okay let's see let's open the plastic inner protection here just so it doesn't stick to the sides also feels really strong here doesn't really feel like textile more like plastic texturized plastic or something really it looks tough indeed It is indeed, it really is cloth tape, you can see the fabric through here. That's why it's much thicker than the other ones. Because it is cloth tape. It's a bit like gaffer tape. Like a mix between gaffer tape and duct tape. Actually the sides here are not very they are not very sticky don't know if I should keep this on I think I'll keep it on if I can don't, don't think it will stay on oh. it is a bit sticky there
Let's see how strong it is. It's pretty, pretty solid. It really sticks to the finger really hard. And it's it is cloth. And when you open it it's very sticky and it doesn't stick to the back of this thing. So it's plastic plastic layer first. One plastic layer. Then the cloth. And then the st sticky stuff. Let's try to tear it. Oh! Okay. Okay, looks... Looks pretty good. You can see here black layer on the top and then underneath this is the plastic and underneath you have cloth and the adhesive layer. So that's three layers right here. Traditional duct tape with the strong adhesive and the cloth cloth layer in the middle. And this is the duct tape. I'll try to keep it keep it in a plastic bag so it doesn't get too sticky. Really sticky. Wow. Let's try if it's sticking on this surface, nothing really sticks to this. Let's see now. This is cork. Cork surface is pretty difficult for stickiness. This is a cork coaster. And let's see now on the cork. Ah. Not bad. Sticks a bit, but not too much. Cloth tape. Also, a note about the smell. Let's see how bad it smells. Mm. Smells like rubber boots, really. Yeah. It doesn't have that really bad smell of duct tape. Mostly smell of rubber boots like fishing uh, overalls or equipment protection, waterproof protection, waterproof equipment for overalls, for work or for fishing. So this outer layer is really waterproof, looks like. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Easy to tear. That's it. And sideways.
there is a bit of residue on my fingers from this so it leaves a bit of residue I can't feel it, it's not sticky but just a bit feels different so you can't use it on surfaces that you shouldn't have any residue and I'm not sure what happens if you leave this in the sun a few years it might get dry yeah my fingers now my fingers smell a bit like this glue a bit like rubber boots could use this for anything or cut a new one clean cut just by hand <laughs> 